Today we're opening a $75 legendary collection versus a $30 mystery box. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we're doing another versus between legendary collection Joey and the monster box, mystery box. I don't even know what they really go for. They go for 30 originally. I'm not sure if they've gone up very much because they are fairly new, but they're one of my favorite mystery boxes. First, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away a misprint obnoxious Celtic Guardian. This is normally a secret rare, but it's an ultra rare with secret lettering, very cool, as well as a Slate Warrior and a Mask of Restraint. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed. Let me know what you think will win. Will it be the legendary collection or the mystery box? Usually it's legendary collection, but let's see if the mystery box can get an upset. We are going to start with the legendary collection. And speaking of giveaways, if you guys have not checked the community tab, go check it because I've been announcing the winners of each giveaway every single week. And almost everyone has been claiming the prizes, which is unusual, probably because I'm actually doing it, you know, pretty consistently and not two months later. So I'm going to continue to try and do that. And if you want to go check that out, go check out the community tab. Legendary collection is usually more consistent in terms of what we actually get. So we get, of course, the blue flame swords and we've opened three of these recently. So we're actually gotten some pretty awesome stuff so let's see if we can continue that five mega packs and the game board under this also on friday marks one year of daily uploads including uh, live streams and all that stuff that counts as an upload but one straight year so i'm thinking we do something pretty cool i don't know if you guys are interested in something pretty cool maybe you just want a regular old basic video you know but let me know in the comments if you guys want to see something crazy on friday something fun to celebrate one straight year of videos it's a long time 365 days let me know let's get into this Adhesion Travel, Dark Dust Spirit, Wall Shadow, The Monster Tamer. We have Legenzo himself, which is just a rare. Let's see. I think it's an Ultra next. And the Harpy Dancer. This one is not great. Did get the Lost Art promotion, so he got a little bit of a better version there. And then we have Secret Rare, Vanilla, 1700. We've pulled this like every single time we open this. We get the snow at least once, sometimes twice. Okay, that's kind of weird. Then we got a Harpy Lady 1 and a Baby Sarasaurus. Cool card for the Dino deck. Okay, so we are starting off with a card that I've pulled every single time. So let's see if we can pull something else cool. I mean, I'm down to repeat a lot of the pulls that we got last time because it seems like we get a lot of good cards. Last time it was three, so let's try this. Never mind, it was supposed to be two. Somehow, it's different. I'm not sure how. Let's just do two next time. We got a super rare right off the bat. Red Eyes Bee Chick is always very nostalgic for me. It's not great, but it's like, oh, wow, you can get Red Eyes out for free. You know what I mean? Tra <laughs> Back in the day, it was cool. Giant Trap Hole. We've got the Tribute Doll. Dangerous Machine Type 6. The Dice Jar. This is probably actually worth a little bit because I think the PGD version is like $3. Beast of Tower. Very cool. Trade-In. Oh, this is a nice version, actually. Ultra Rare Trade-In. Cool for those Blue Eyes decks. You love it. And, ooh, usually spells are pretty good, right, Gecky? No, another gateway to Dark World. Looks like they really want us to play a Dark World deck. Okay, we did the super rare early. <laughs> Three more packs. Then we have that monster mystery box, which usually actually have some pretty old packs. And I'm not like crazy old, but I mean, they do have like some reprint packs. And they have like sometimes Duelist Alliance, which is pretty exciting. So if we could get that, that would be pretty cool. Let's do two this time, not mess it up. Berserk Dragon. Despair from the Dark. Fossil Excavation. The Graceful Dice, Joey Wheeler. We got a deal with Dark Ruler. Okay, another got one of those. Imperial Iron Wall. This was an, in an OTS reprint, and I think it was worth a couple bucks. That's so probably a good pull. Ooh, a compulsory evacuation device. These aren't huge money, but they're really nice for formats like Goat Format and stuff. And I guess, does Edison use this? I'm not really sure, but it's just a very nice secret rare. Harpy Lady 2. Okay, we'll take that. Necro Valley. Another good card that's been printed a lot and has like 12 different erratas. Two more packs, and then we get into that monster box. All right. And if you guys enjoy these versus videos where we do like Legendary Collection for Mystery Box, Legendary Collection versus Legendary Collection, all that stuff, let me know in the comments, and I will continue to try and do those. By the way, if you have Mystery Boxes or Legendary Collections for sale, hit me up. I would love to buy them because, you know, you seem to like these videos. I guess we'll find out after this one if you guys really do. Magical Arm Shield. Siriariu. That was not how you say that. Reborn Zombie. Lava Golem. And... Ooh, a Harpy's Pet Dragon. This is a pretty cool one. I remember this being like one of the expensive cards when this first came out. Not expensive, but it was like seven bucks. And I was like, why is this card worth something? I'm not really sure. Harpy's Pet Dragon and... Ooh. <laughs> this is the Dark World. Silva Warlord of Dark World. It loves the Dark World. So far, we are, what, three out of four on Secret Rares being Dark... Dark World Dealings. I mean, it's a good card for sure, but it's just weird. We're getting all Dark World stuff. All right, what are we going to pull this time? Will it be uh, Grapha Dark World? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't think that's in here, but it'll be something of Dark World. That's for sure. We can almost guarantee it. Oh, what is this guy? 
The Sword Slasher. Very cool. A lethal engine of destruction that wields two well honed, not ironed, honed blades. So he's an engine of destruction. Isn't Blue Eyes a powerful engine of destruction? Interesting. Very interesting. So is this Blue Eyes by Dragon with a sword? Who knows? Vampire Baby. We've got the Dark Dark World. <laughs> Literally everything's Dark World. Alright, Sword Slasher, Dice Reroll. Vampire Lord. Gravekeeper's Priestess. Okay, will it be a Dark World card? No, it's a Harpy Queen. We've got a couple Harpy cards. Harpy Queen's cool. And will this be a Dark... It could be. <laughs> Scapegoat! Okay, we got this last time, I think. This is actually a very good one. Because that's just a pretty version. Because the Ultimate version is kind of eh. Some people don't like it. It looks a little bit weird. And then, of course, the Retro Packs is impossible to find. So, uh, yeah. An elegant Egotist. So, we're either getting Harpies or Dark World. All right. On to... The monster box. Inside we could get Invasion of Chaos. Last time we did get Dimension of Chaos, I think. Secret Forces. There's Duelist Alliance. Flames of Destruction. Just so many cool cards, or should I say sets, that we could pull. Let's see if we can pull a lot of them. I think there's nine packs. Yeah. Nine packs, one legacy pack. Is that ten total, or is that just... I can't remember. I think I say this every time. Is it nine total packs or ten total packs? Not really sure. I guess we're going to find out. Let's start off with... Oh, that, I think that's our legacy pack, Galactic Overlord. Last time we pulled the cover card, so let's see if we can do that again in Ghoster. <laughs> I think I still need this in Ghoster Unlimited, so this would be pretty big. This also is probably your Euro pack, just based on how it feels. We have a... I want to do the uh, three from the back. Let's do that. Let's do Sealing Ceremony of Raton. Evil Sor Darwino. The Wacky Magic. Wattail Dragon. Falling Current. Booten. G -g -g Gardner. We pulled it again? Neo Galaxy Heist Photon Dragon. <laughs> That's literally back to back times we've pulled Galactic Overlord out of a monster box and pulled the cover card in Ultra Rare. That's kind of weird. Like, really, really weird. <laughs> we will take that though. That's an amazing pull and it looks really good in Ultra Rare as well. I don't need it for my binder because obviously we already pulled it last time, but that is still amazing. You love to see it. It's not crazy value, but cover card, man. That's awesome. The cover card out of like a 10-year-old set. That's pretty amazing. Ooh, Fusion Enforcers. You guys know. Alistair, the Invoker. I've told the story many times, but when I was opening every pack, I had I was trying to get first edition of everything. I got all my packs together the night before. I delayed the opening several times because I realized I was missing something. I was like, oh, wait, I don't have Fusion Enforcers, and I think I needed like Cybernetic Horizon or something else. I went and bought a ton of these monster boxes to get Fusion Enforcers. It was unlimited, but I was like, it's Fusion Enforcers. Who cares? That was before I realized the greatness of Alistair the Invoker. Let's go. Let's see if we can pull him. Let's see if we can pull anything from these, from the Invoke deck. Oh, Invoked Cockatiss. We'll take that. It's not one that people usually play, but it's still a pretty good card for sure. All right. Can we get anything like Super Rare Alistair? Predator Plant. This card was so annoying in the auction series. Lone Fire Blossom and Battle Fusion. Okay. Those are very warped, but we did get the Invoked Cockatiss. Very cool. All right, that was cool. Let's see what we can get next. Shining Victory. See, look, look at all these packs. They're from like 2016, 2017. I mean, just ancient at this point, so it's so fun to open these. If you guys have some monster boxes you want to hit me up with, let me know. We got the Formal Pal Fireflux. And with a Morphage Wrath. Digital Bug. Gendo. Bug Emergency. Red Eyes Toon Dragon. That's actually a pretty good super rare. Very cool. Red Eyes Toon Dragon. We'll take that. The, putting up a fight this time because it wasn't the best Joey's World box. We're starting to pull some good stuff out of here. I think Monster Box might have a chance at this rate. Oh, Legend of Blue Eyes. It wasn't our legacy pack. I guess that this counts as the legacy pack. Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. We could pull the Blue Eyes White Dragon. If we do that, we will win. Power of Kaishin. Oh, I'm going to win either way because they're both mine. But <laughs> one eye chill dragon. Mystical sheep number two. Although root water. Umi. Oh, I did this, the pack trick wrong. Oh, well. You, Robbie. Curse of Dragon. Another good pull. Spirit of the Harp and Dark Gray. We have another hit for the monster box. Wow. This is like they're putting up a fight. This actually have a chance. We still got several packs left. Let's see what else. Oh, Dark Saviors. Cool set. Cool set. Let's see. What can we pull? A secret right at the front. It seems like they always are, so I'm just going to assume and do that. Either it's going to be that one or the second to last. Vampire Familiar. Cool card. Arm. I need this. Armageddon Knight in a hollow version. I only had the common version for my um, Edison deck, so that's awesome. 
I'm gonna put that aside. Eagle Booster! I just bought this, actually. It was like a 20 cent card for my Dark Magician deck. Okay. Uh, that's a big pull. Widow Anchor's like 20 bucks. Okay. Okay, I think the mystery box has a chance, guys. Widow Anchor, that's actually a huge pull, and that's actually nice because a lot of people splash in that Sky Striker engine to a lot of decks, and so I only have one Widow Anchor, so I keep having to move it back and forth. So now I've got two. That's awesome. This is insane. Like, this monster box is so good, and there's, like, actually a few packs left. All right. Ash Blossom? We gonna pull it? We gonna pull the Ash Blossom? I mean, at this rate, I wouldn't be surprised with how good we're pulling out of these. This is insane. We have a Spiral Mission Rescue. Kaiser Sea Snake. Oh, we use Ruxin Special, Pass the Marbles, True Draco Apocalypse, the Spiral Wave, Supreme King Dark Worm, Primal Cry, Zephrath. Okay, that's just a super. And the Performal Pass Sky Pupil. We finally didn't pull something amazing. I guess I can't be upset. Okay, I think two more packs. Is that where? No, three more packs. Three more packs still. Oh, there it is. The Cybernetic Horizon. That's another one that I got out of here for the every pack opening. Almost two years ago at this point, which is pretty crazy if you think about it. Can we pull the Boral Sword? We've pulled it several times, actually. It's kind of crazy, because we have not opened a lot of these packs. They're always out of these, like, mystery boxes. Ruin Angel of Oblivion. Not the Queen. The Angel. We've got the Link Turret. Psychic Ace. Breaking the World. Beast Magic Attack. Oh! Cyber Dragon Hurts! Okay, an Ultra version. I think this... Oh, an Overflow. That's a cool card as well. I think this comes in the Structure deck as maybe a Super or something. <sighs> Two more packs. Nope. Three... Wait, three more... How many packs have we opened? This is an error... Flames of Destruction, Ghost Ogre, and Imperm. That's what we're looking for. We pulled Imperm out of, what was it? Like one blister or something? Or one pack? Yeah, one pack that somebody gave me. That was insane. Altergeist, Emula Emulatelf. Okay. Flower Cardian, Mandrake, Three Trolling Trolls, classic card. Trickstar Nightshade, Red Haired Hasty Horde. Hasty Horde. Hasty. That sounds weird. Goki the Master Ogre and Wakey the Dragon's a cool card. I might pull that out. Still two packs in here somehow. By some miracle, there's two packs. We have. Wow. Breakers of Shadow. Another awesome pack. Okay. Buster Blader support. Let's go. 2016 release date, I think, on this one. Forbidden Apocrypha. Mistaken Accusation. Cosmo Delta Shuttle. Destruction Sword Flash. Super Every Samurai Magnet. Uh, Shirin Nui style Swallow Slash, okay, Dragon's Bind, and I think it's next. Ooh, Buster Welk of the Destruction Swordsman, Welp, I should say. Silk Cavalry of the Dinon, very cool, that's a nice super rare. Brings me back to when I got top 100 in Duel Links, yeah, in the uh, KC Cup one time, like two years ago. Three years at this point. One more pack, let's see if, I think they might have already won, but we're gonna try it out. Ooh, and Duelist Alliance, what a lineup of packs in here. Some amazing ones, oh my goodness. Duelist Alliance, we could pull a Ghost Rare. We could pull Ultimate Rares. We could pull uh, so many good cards. Oh my goodness. Let's see what we could do. Shadals are in here as comments, very cool. We got a Super Heavy Samurai. Sonata the Melodious Diva. Artifact Chakram. Chain to Spell. Shadal Skomana, there it is. Stellar Knight Alpha. Castell the Sky Blaster Musketeer. I think this is the original printing. This card's actually a pretty good rank four. That's cool. And a Shadal Beast and a Shadal Hedgehog. That's a pretty good pack, even though we didn't get anything crazy. Did the Monster Box win this one? Let me know in the comments, guys, because that was pretty close. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to CCG Trusted Cards, Stonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley Might Nance, Mimic Echo, Spango Farling, G Raider, Daxter, Ian Musa, and Junior Barding. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.